everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers. And today I am hiking on the Bill and Marion Certain Trail in the Blevins Gap Nature Preserve in Huntsville, Alabama. And today I'm hiking with Jonathan and a friend of ours. In this video, I hike with Jonathan and a friend of mine to the best viewpoints in Huntsville on the Bill and Marion Certain Trail in the Blevins Gap Nature Preserve. The trail starts off at a large parking lot off of Cecil Ashburn Drive and starts gradually and then more steeply climbing up to the top of the plateau. Once on top of the plateau, the trail flattens out and it is an easy walk to the various viewpoints. Where the power lines cross the mountain, there are awesome viewpoints to the east and west that are some of the best in the Huntsville area. We then continued on the, to the tall radio tower on the mountain before descending down on the Vernado Trail to the shelf on the side of the mountain that we took back towards the trailhead. This trail has lots of exposed fossils in the rocks, so paying attention along the stretch is rewarded. Finally, after rounding the corner of the mountain, we returned to the trailhead where we started after about five and a half miles and a total elevation gain of about 500 feet. This is a fun and rewarding hike that I highly recommend to those who like a good viewpoint. We're at the Blevins Gap Nature Preserve on the Bill and Marion Certain Trail is what we're following today. So we head up this way. All right, here's the sign for the Bill and Marion Certain Trail to the left. Smoke rise to the right. We might come back that way, we'll see. It is a nice, cool, summer, late summer morning. Just a beautiful day to get out and go for a hike. We have come to our next sign, which says the Bill and Marion Certain Trail is to the left. So off this way. Well, all right, we are starting our climb up to the top of the plateau now. Oops, I could watch where I'm going. So uh, it's a little steeper for a bit here. In the winter, these rocks are covered in icicles. It's very cool when you come up here. And there's a stream that runs right down through the, the middle here. But this time of year, it's all dried up. Now that we've come through those rocks, we are nearly to the top of the mountain. We're on top of the big sandstone cap on the mountain now. So it'll be flattening out here pretty soon. All right, we have come to a decision point. We can either go left or we can go right. It turns out either way we'll go to the big viewpoints. There's two of them, one on the left, one on the right, but they're real close to each other. So I think today we're gonna go to the left first and we'll come back on the right side. All right, we are just about to the viewpoints. And uh, there are, the reason these viewpoints are here is because there's power lines that uh, they go over the mountain here and they cleared the trees making the viewpoints. So we're gonna come out in the sun here and look off to the east. Woo! Nice! Uh-huh, isn't that awesome? <laughs> isn't that cool? You guys see the turkey vulture out there? Uh, it's kind of out that way. We're, uh, we're higher up than it is. They just glide on the wind, they don't flap very often. You can tell they're a turkey vulture because they wobble when they fly, whereas a hawk is rock steady when it flies. There's a few flowers here. Sometimes when you come up here, there are lots of flowers. It's just not the right time of year, I guess. Because there's lots of uh, blackberry brambles. So sometimes you'll see those in the spring. Yeah, there's the trail right across here. So we're gonna go across to the west side. Welcome to the west side of the world. 
<laughs> Let's see what things you can recognize. Come on out here to there's there's a rock ledge here where we can see a little better. Do you see anything you recognize? So, right over there, right, let's see if I can do it on my camera here. Uh, right over there, uh, I, gotta, well, I gotta get my perspective right, there we go, uh, is the Tennessee River. See it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then uh, out there, all those, see the really tall concrete looking buildings out there? Those are the the test uh, centers on the arsenal. Oh, so that's the big, ones, the big concrete the building. Right yeah, uh-huh. Those are the uh, the test facilities from Apollo. Oh. Yeah. Huh. And uh, yeah, all, most of the other buildings you see out there are buildings on the arsenal. There's two little mountains there off to the uh, to the right, and uh, those are both on the uh, the Redstone Arsenal. Right. Yeah. Huh. And then everything in the foreground here is the city of Huntsville. Um, downtown is off to the right and not in view. I didn't know you were so close to the river. <laughs> yeah, the river's right there. Yeah. I know, the, the Tennessee River kind of flows through the background of the Huntsville area and none of us you know, really ever go there, right? Yeah. It's, it's no, not... No one ever really talks about, oh yeah, it's the river. Right. Yeah. And it's partly because the arsenal blocks the river from most of Huntsville. Right. And, big swamp. and there's a big swamp over there, so it's hard to get to the river on the other side of the arsenal is really swampy. Uh huh. And even so, on this side of the arsenal, you know where the arsenal yeah. is, it's also a swamp. <laughs> yes, so, that's partly why the arsenal's there, is because a lot of that undeveloped area between the buildings up here and the river down there is pretty swampy. Mm. And then the big open grassy area, that's the test area where they test, do weapons testing. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And explosives testing. You can kind of see the towers at the uh, at one end of it where they like observe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Man, no way. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Through the trees over here, you can also see Capshaw Mountain, which is way out in the county, um, out there too. And of course, Montana off to the right. Yeah, that's behind the trees here. But we couldn't see it anyway. Yep. All right, I think we are going to head on. We're going to continue over to the uh, big radio tower over here, and then uh, descend down, and uh, we'll pass right back underneath this bluff right down here. So it is a lovely place to come, watch the sunset. Hike back, make sure you take a headlamp because it might get dark before you get back to the car. <laughs> All right, we are now on the West Bluff Trail, headed into the trees. Oh, it's nice and cool in here after being out in the sun. Now there's another little bench here, the viewpoint, off to the east. Yeah, very nice. All right, we are at the big radio tower, right there. And uh, right here, there's a spot where the trail branches and we head downhill. So now we are going to be on the Varnado Trail. This way. Here is the, uh, the anchor for the guy lines for that big radio tower. So, uh, Right there are the cables. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> they make a good sound if you can hit them with something. Here, let me uh, get closer to where I can hear that. There you go. Well, see, do you see how this is shaking? 
Like hold, like just feel on the, just hold on to the weight there. Mm -hmm. Just kind of touch it. Oh, it goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it goes down and then it comes back. And comes yeah. back. Yep. <laughs> it's super cool. It is super cool. We are down on the Vernado Trail. It's flattened out now that we're at the bottom and and it's a nice, easy, soft trail. Not a problem at all. There's a uh, a fossil tree stem here and oh yeah, look at that over there. Look at the grain on that. That is cool. Yeah, there's a, uh, a um, um, crinid, thank you. <laughs> yes, there's a crinid right there. So that's from a marine environment. These, uh, the branches here are from land plants that washed into the marine environment. Gotta keep our eyes peeled. There are lots of fossils along this Vernado Trail. I wonder if this tree is a marker tree. Wonder what it's pointing at. All right, here is the opening for the power lines. That's where we were a little while ago, right up there. Looking over that ledge where there's, you can see people up there now with this dog. Yep, I would not want to go straight up it. All right, back in the shade of the trees, or it'll be nice and cool again. It's getting warm out there. Ah, nice in here. Here's a, li a uh, log in the uh, in the rock here. It's like uh, some branch of a tree fell down and. Left an imprint in the rock here. That's very cool. Yet another uh, fossil of maybe a branch or a big long leaf or something, I'm not sure. But very textured, that's for sure. We are rounding around the mountain here on the north side. And uh, in a little while, we'll pick up the trail that we took to go up to the top of the mountain. So uh, this makes it a nice loop trail doing it this way. Nice limestone crack to go through here. All right, we just came to the intersection with the Sugar Tree Trail. The Vernado Trail is what we just came off of. We're gonna now follow the Sugar Tree Trail to the right. And eventually that will take us right back to the trail where we started. All right, we are still on the Sugar Tree Trail. We just passed the Lowry Trail. I'm expecting we'll run into our main trail back down to the parking lot here pretty soon. I can hear the highway in the distance, so we're getting close. There we go, here's the big sign. I knew it was close. Here we are. We've been here before. All right, down to the parking lot, which is exactly what the sign says. Yay, we're here. We are back to the trailhead. Thanks for coming along with us today. That was a great hike on the Bill and Marion Certain Trail and the Vernado Trail. I'll catch you next time.